Good day and welcome back to Dazeng News and here are some of the news. As in countries to help drive global growth as China reopening. According to a top economist from the Manila-based Asian Development Bank, countries in the ASEAN are expected to be among the strongest economic performers globally as China's reopening has provided a significant boost to their recovery. The ADB's flagship annual economic publication, The Asian Development Outlook 2023, released last Tuesday, forecasts that developing Asia's GDP will grow by 4.8% this year, up from the 4.2% of last year. Developing in Asia is growing faster than any other region in the world and contributing more to global growth than any other region. So if you exclude China, uh, Southeast Asia is probably going to grow a little bit faster than the region as a whole. Park said despite the concerns over global financial stability, inflation and geopolitical conflicts, economies in developing Asia are rebounding with dynamism and will not be hit too hard by these factors. In other emerging market countries, the inflation challenges and the resulting monetary tightening are going to have a more negative effect on growth than in Asia and in particular in ASEAN. Most of the growth momentum is coming from domestic consumption and investment. For some countries like Thailand and Cambodia and to some extent the Philippines, the recovery of tourism, especially the return of the Chinese tourists, will really create some positive uh, growth momentum as well. China is really the source of the most optimism for the region. But while Park noted that slow growth in developed economies will mean lower demand for Southeast Asia's exports and many countries will enjoy a rebound in the service sector, particular through tourism. Vietnam capital struggles with severe air pollution. Hanoi experienced severe air pollution as the Air Quality Index, AQI, in the Vietnamese capital climbed to 161, breaching the unhealthy level. The air pollution today has gotten quite serious, even with this nice and cool weather. Taking a walk in this condition makes me feel unsafe. The PM2.5 concentration in Hanoi is currently 17 times the World Health Organization's WHO annual air quality guideline value. According to the IQ Air, a Swiss pollution technology company, Hanoi's poor air quality is largely a result of emissions from motor vehicles, of which there are over 8 million in the city, as well as crop burning. Malaysia supports ASEAN neutrality upholds one China principle. In an exclusive interview with China Central Television, Malaysia's Prime Minister Datuk Seri Anwar Ibrahim said, Malaysia has been supporting the neutral position of the ASEAN, which has helped prevent tensions while upholding the one China principle. According to Anwar, ASEAN members are working to prevent the region becoming a base for military competition and are concerned about AUKUS, Australia, UK and US, a deal which allows Australia to acquire a fleet of nuclear submarines. For me, the period of ASEAN was to emphasize the need of independence, the need of uh, neutrality, particularly during the Cold War period, to avoid the tension. And that general position continues. We don't want um, the region to be a base for uh, military competition. That position has been quite consistent. Uh, although we remain friendly to all countries. Uh, that is why uh, when the issue of AUKUS uh, rose, our position is you know, to express concern. We do, on the, on the basis of our consistent position, uh, since the beginning, not to allow for situation to aggravate into a military uh, tension and to be deemed or seen to be provocative. So that's why Malaysia took a, a more a tougher line on this, because it is not consistent. We worry it's not consistent with the issue of neutrality from the beginning, engaging with all and uh, not to allow ASEAN to be engrossed in these sort of uh, unnecessary provocations. The tripartite AUKUS alliance is a military pact among the United States, Britain and Australia. 
The alliance, which was formed in September 2021, Australia will be able to build nuclear-powered submarines with technology provided by the other two members. Anwar stressed that Malaysia upholds the One China principle, adding that the territorial integrity of countries should not be questioned. ASEAN Plus Trade Growth Driven by China in 2023 The ASEAN Plus 3 Macroeconomic Research Office has projected that China's economy will grow by 5.5% this year, leading regional growth in the face of a challenging global environment. According to the ASEAN Plus 3 Macroeconomic Research Office, the AMRO's newly released ASEAN Plus 3 Regional Economic Outlook 2023 Consisting of the ASEAN member states, along with China, Japan, and the Republic of Korea, ASEAN Plus 3 is expected to achieve economic growth of 4.6% in the same period. Together, the three countries are expected to see an annual growth of 4.5%. The AMRO predicts the ASEAN region itself will see slightly growth this year, dropping to 4.59% compared to 5.6% in 2022. Furthermore, the Singapore Headquarters Organization noted in a press release that stronger growth in the greater region may allow policymakers to shift their focus toward curbing inflation. Senior Chinese diplomat co hosts high level dialogue cooperation meeting. Wang Yi, director of the Office of Foreign Affairs Commission of the Communist Party of China, CPC Central Committee, co-hosted the third meeting of China-Indonesia High-Level Dialogue Cooperation Mechanism with Luhut Minsar Panjaitan, Indonesia's coordinator for cooperation with China and coordinating Minister of Maritime Affairs and Investment. Wang Yi added, China is ready to work with Indonesia to strengthen all-round strategic coordination, further deepen the new cooperation pattern covering politics, economy, culture, and maritime affairs, and jointly promote the development of the two countries and the prosperity of the region. China and Indonesia should also strengthen defense and law enforcement cooperation, increase personal exchanges, and deepen strategic mutual trust and people-to-people -people friendship. For his part, Luhut said Indonesia regards China as an important strategic partner and is willing to work with China to jointly build the Belt and Road with high quality, actively explore the Global Development Initiative and strengthen the sense of community with a shared future. Cambodia deports 90 scam suspects to Japan. Cambodian police said Cambodia reports nine Japanese nationals suspected of involvement in organized phone and online scams to Japan. Cambodia's Interior Ministry said the Japanese nationals, all male, were detained in a police operation in the southern city of Shinokville in late January. They were then sent to the capital Phnom Penh, where they were held until the deportation to Japan. Cambodian National Police spokesperson Chai Kim Koyung confirmed that all 19 suspects were on the flight to Japan. According to the Japanese media reports, the Tokyo police had obtained arrest warrants for all 19 suspects. Cambodian media reported that the arrest warrants were issued after Japanese residents had been targeted by the scam operation. Malaysian Prime Minister expectation for good bilateral relations with China. Malaysian Prime Minister Datuk Seri Anwar Ibrahim expressed his acclamation at China's rapid development and expectation for good bilateral relations between the two countries. At the invitation of Chinese Premier Li Keqiang, Anwar paid an official visit to China attended the opening ceremony of the Bao Forum for Asia Annual Conference 2023. It was his first state visit to China after he took office last November. Well, the development is phenomenal. As you, as you, you know that, I should say, mind-boggling uh, to 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 understand transformation of the country as uh, a modern economy and and at the same time having this strong effort to alleviate poverty and then to enter into new um, technology mm -hmm. i mean um, ai telecommunications uh, uh, semiconductor issues which are relatively newer to China. Mm -hmm. I must confess that, for example, in the semiconductor, uh, although it's a small player, we were earlier. Uh -huh. But you have surpassed a triple times. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, so um, I, I can notice it. And of course, the infrastructure is just phenomenal. No country in the world could do this. Noting that China is an important neighbor, a major trade partner, and a major investor into Malaysia, Ibrahim expected good bilateral relations with China. 
Thank you, everyone. Enjoy your weekend with your loved ones. Stay safe, stay healthy. We will see you soon.